guys. I told you I was going to do videos about sewing and how to put cloth pads together. So we're going to start with flannel because flannel is my favorite material to use for making cloth pads. And there's a bunch of reasons for that and I'm going to start with it was the first that I used because it was the one I had a bunch of in my house. And that's one of the reasons it's fantastic for beginners is because most everybody has flannel in their house. You don't have to go out and buy it just to try it out. Um, pajama bottoms, flannel sheets and pillowcases, babies receiving blankets that aren't being used anymore. Um, everybody's husband has a couple of ugly flannel shirts or maybe you have some ugly flannel shirts that you're not going to wear anymore. Um, lots of flannel laying around in most people's homes so you can find a piece that maybe you're not using and it's a nice free way to get into trying to make these. Also, flannel is extremely versatile for cloth pad making. When we get more into the different kinds of material, you see that some of them are good for making the top part with the topper, which is this part that goes next to the skin. Uh, some are good for making the absorbent core, which is the part in the middle that soaks up everything. And then some fabrics are preferred as a backer only. Um, but flannel, you can use for all three. So if you have some flannel, you don't need any other kind of material. Um, Flannel is also good because it's 100% cotton, so you know if you have sensitive skin issues like I did or if somebody has an allergy to certain kinds of things, you don't have to worry about that because it's just made out of cotton and it's not going to bother anybody. Um, let's see, the other thing is it's cheaper than a lot of different kinds of fabrics and pretty much anywhere that you can buy fabric, they're going to have flannel there. Um, and another thing about it that's good for beginners is that it's very easy to sew with because it's not very slippery. Um, it, it is what we call a napped fabric, um, which basically means they just take cotton fabric and then they use some kind of a brush or wire or something or other and they brush it. Um, you'll see fabric being sold as, you know, a single nap, which is just one side is napped and then the other side would be just smooth woven cotton. Or you can get double napped fabric, which is my favorite because it's softer. It means that they do the napping on both sides of the flannel. Um, and it gets softer and softer as you use it. Um, there are some cons to flannel. Uh, the first one that I noticed being that it doesn't stay beautiful you know, and looking brand new for very long. In fact, generally after the first wash, it's going to look a lot different. And I'm going to show you two, two pieces here. This is a, a pad that I made relatively recently. And this is the original piece of flannel that I cut it from. Now this is pre-washed, but this is a pad that's been washed maybe two or three times. And I want you to see, see if you can see that, how this looks like it's old and been used for a long time and it, and it really isn't. It's relatively new. Um, and all flannel that I have any experience with at all does that. Um, so you need to be aware that if you're buying flannel pads or if you're making pads out of flannel, this is going to happen. And it's not because it's poor quality, it's just the nature of the fabric. It also pills up a little bit. Another con is if you happen to live in a place where there's hard water, um, it can tend to come out of the wash a little bit dry and scratchy. Um, I don't know um, how to have you deal with that. Um, you don't really want to put fabric softener on these things because it can interfere with the absorbency. Um, so um, I've heard people say you can put vinegar in the wash water and that effectively works as a fabric softener. I haven't tried that because I tumble dry them and they, we don't have hard water. Um, but you could give that a try. So anyway, flannel, my favorite fabric, and you can use it for every part of the pad, and um, I highly recommend it be one of the ones you start with. Okay, that's it. Have a good night, and uh, I'll see you again later.